back with another game from our Steam games under five dollars. This game is Fate Tectonics. Uh, it is a a strategy indie pixel graphics 2D kind of I guess builder god like game god game. Uh, it says build up a world piece by piece using the power of godlike fates while keeping them happy enough to avoid world-shattering temper tantrums. <laughs> uh, sounds great. Uh, the... Well, it's, uh... I'd say it's easy to pick up and play. It's handcrafted in-game pixel art. Soundtrack of, uh, Symphony and Steam composer. Uh, Robbie Dugue? And Twitter shareable worlds. Uh, the powerful book of fate keeps track of your progress and chronicles your adventure. Uh, two game modes. Uh, there is a world building skills and time to creation, and then there's like a, a more relaxed version. Uh, and it's got a bunch of options to, to tweak it if you have any any uh, vision impairments or or whatnot, because it did ask me if I wanted to disable like the flashy and stuff like that. Uh, this game is currently going for $4.99, uh, but it is highly rated, a lot of people love it. So I figured I'd check it out and see what it's all about. Let's get into it. Alright, it's a uh, goat guy. Yo, you must be the new, the new maker in town. You're looking pretty spiffy. <laughs> Let me show you around. Me, I'm too dear. Oh, the patron fate of showing him around. Let's get to it. He's got cool flowers in his beard. Fantastic. All right, you've got some serious power, kid. But it's kind of, it's kind of like a watch without any gears. Pretty useless on its own. That's why you gotta wake the fates and harness their powers. Okay. It's called simply simply it's it's called scratching each other's backs. <laughs> Press that golden button at the bottom there to wake up our first fate. Alright, golden button, pressing it, waking the fate, and going to vex is some sweet power, right? Uh, most fates need need a temple to exist in the world you're gonna be creating, otherwise they can't offer their powers to you. Click to place it. Alright. Great job, kid. Pelby's wait and look at the crate. Time to build some grasslands. Alright. Um, click to select the this grassland power. Once you have the tile selected, bring it up and highlight the spot to place it. Alright. Place it there. Oh, look at her. She loves it. Tiles are worse. Are more stable when they're connected to other tiles. Match train, grass, connected to grass, and uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mismatching terrain makes tiles unstable and downright ugly. Keep your world to a beautiful place, match those beautiful familiar place tiles. Uh, sometimes new tiles don't match any available spots, that's where the power of rotation comes in handy. Grab a new tile and use right click to rotate. Bam! Doing good, kid. You should try adding a few more tiles to your world. Alright, so... Oh, I probably want somebody to put it. Alright. More tiles. Instead of doing all the work by clicking over the button, you <laughs> like a trump, you can right click and repeat the last power you use. Saves a lot of time. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah. Oh, she likes that too. We'll almost put that down there. What's up, Snack? You son of a yeah, Snack. He's a little bugger who likes to find new makers and gives them nothing, nothing but problems. Oh. Uh. Just... 
once you have you have more experience, you'll leave. Oh, what a jerk. Well, he's not gonna stop, so you might as well clean this mess up. Tiles displacing are falling away because they don't have enough support. Still, as crumbly holes, the bigger they are, the less support the tile has. Next time he does this thing, slap down one of your tiles next to it to keep the whole thing together. Bam. Ah, nice. <laughs> tiles that are surrounded by other tiles that are uh, on more than one side are more stable. Uh, the more tiles you add to an area, the more stable it becomes. Yeah. Uh, hey, Penelope sees all the hard work you're getting and is talking to you about it. Fate's always talk to show you what's going on in the world through these speech bubbles. All right. It's important to pay attention to what they are saying. As you can see, Penelope is a fan of grass tiles. Yeah. She likes the grass. Are you the police? No, ma'am. Whenever you do something the fates like, they start to like you more in turn. Keep making those fates happy because they'll, they'll give you more of their powers to work with. All right. A jerk! <laughs> Gonna need a better solution to this problem, like making large amounts of land stable. She is Penelope's second power. I'm gonna place some gra some more grass and tiles to unlock it. Quick. Dang. All right, now we start building cities. Uh, the more green space, the better. I just see a spot. Click the city and highlight the tile. Take care of little night problem. Look at that tile sailing place. Good job. Cities are kind of like world glue. They hold crumbly tiles together. The larger the city, the larger the area that you can hold together. Look at this farm spreading out in your city. They feed your city and help it grow. Alright, jerk. Cities are great for shoring up land, but don't do a thing to water. Rather than like going searching some kind of second <laughs> second last city, you should use Penelope's next power. I'll unlock it for you. All right, what's your next power? Uh, fleet keeper, water together, kid. Need a docks. So look for docks. Seabirds. Let you know where the ships can go. Go ahead and throw down. Right in that dock. Good. So far, the blue bar at the bottom will fill up as you build, which brings new powers and new headaches. I'll skip ahead so you can see it for yourself. Okay. Hey, would you look at that? You leveled up. Great job, kid. Now you can wake up the next fate. Barnacles. <laughs> Try placing his temple. Near the edge of a large body of water. Alright. Let's see where's, where's your temple. Uh, edge of a large body. Oh, well, I guess I gotta put it there. Barnacle's likes very different. Or, oh, Barnacle's likes are very different from Penelope's. It's all about water, but uh, he's not that hot on ships or sailors. Try placing another fleet and you'll see what I mean. Congratulations, you ticked them off. Our bar floating over each fate's head is an anger bar. When that bar fills up, you've made the fates angry enough that they're gonna take it out of your world. Cool. Ah, oh, cool, they fight with each other. Why does this fish have legs? Um, <laughs> Penelope's got a robot gang that creates world crumbling industry. That's price to be a progress, I guess. Ugh, sometimes one fate disaster can upset another. You can really spiral, spiral out of control if you let them fight amongst themselves. You better do things an angry fate likes to stop them from throwing a temper tantrum. Try placing a few water tiles to watch barnacles be mood lightened. I'm just gonna keep keep putting it. 
Oops. That was not good. Oh, didn't do that either. a new fate every time your world levels up. Most of them behave particularly predictably like Penelope and Barnac Barnacles, but some of them don't watch out for those guys. Right. The last two fates are super powerful. When they show up, they cause huge disasters. If your world is strong enough to stand against your disasters, you'll be the master maker. You can do it, kid. Oh. Down here, you need to demolish this world to make way for a hyperspace bypass. Sometimes you gotta click quicker than you can read. Alright, just uh, pick a power and point it at a spot you want to crumble. wasn't as easy as he made it out to be. <laughs> um, but using the destructive powers help you figure out what makes the world strong and how to build up weaker areas in the future. All these powers are pretty destructive except for the industry one. That's more of a passive take everybody else. <laughs> kind of, okay. Anyway, now's your chance to destroy the world. Give it a try. Right, um, <laughs> Oh yeah, got her nice and angry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Did you see all those spells scrambled? And that one city was like, I mean, great job, kid. That's all the information I got for you. It's time you start building on your own. Uh, if you ever want to know more about the fates, their powers, or how things un are unfolding for you, you should click that book icon in the bottom right corner. From now on, you'll be from now on, you'll be working with other Gaia fates to create your world of opportunities and peace and food. Both Tina and Ragnarosa are these are steady creation of destruction, Slavo and Preston. Build a strong world to become a master maker. Sardi is easy to please. He likes to take it back to you to fix his world to your heart's content. Alright, once you have some experience building worlds, you can work with capacity uh, and build. Wow, that's loud. And build the rules you create yourself. Alright. Or you can pick me and play through this and come back to me over again. Your choice. All right, well, that is the end of the little tutorial. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit that little like button down below. I apologize if the sound was a little bit loud at the end of the video. I uh, didn't realize it would just loop at the end there. Uh, but yeah, uh, like if you if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, let me know what you think about the video, what you think about the game, what you think about the series. Uh, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day. Thank you.